Hi everybody, today I have the DeWalt wearable speaker and this thing is tiny. With something this small, the product tour will be quick. The center button is power and track stop and start. The plus will be your volume up and next track. The minus will be volume down and previous track. Underneath this flap, we have the USB-C charging port and less obvious is a tiny foot. And you use this to stand the speaker up on a flat surface. On the back of the speaker, we have a very strong clip. You can use this to attach to your clothing or whatever. The black part is somewhat grippy and I think it's rubber or some kind of a shock absorbing material. And the yellow is your signature DeWalt plastic. This thing is built tough and it comes with a storage bag, but I think you could just throw this in your toolbox and it would be just fine. This speaker is small, but surprisingly loud. You're not going to get any bass out of this, so don't fool yourself. The mid-range is strong. The high frequencies are decent, but more prone to distortion at higher volumes. If you're not putting in overtime, this could be considered an all-day battery rated at 10 hours. It's not unusual for a Bluetooth speaker to offer hands-free phone capabilities. I never really took that feature seriously, but I did test it on this. And my daughter said that I sounded better using this than just my phone alone. So that's never happened before. You cannot compare the DeWalt wearable speaker to a full-size speaker. That would not be fair. But the sound is surprisingly good and loud for something this size. I like the fact that you can throw this in your toolbox and not worry about breaking it. I like the... 10 hour battery life. I think the, uh, the speaker phone was a surprise. Um, the, the, the clip is nice. The only thing that this is really missing is a magnet. Um, if you really wanted one, you could glue a magnet to this clip and solve all your problems. Um, the stand, it's, it's a nice touch. You, and you, there was no reason not to put the stand in. And it does work. And even when you have this at maximum volume, it's not wobbly enough to fall over. But I just don't know how useful it would be on a job site. Maybe it's fine. I'm. Why not do it, right? So I am going to give this a, for in the product category of wearable speaker, uh, this is an admirable effort. So I'm, I'm going to have to give this five out of five stars. This is the U-Hydro Bluetooth speaker in blood orange. And it's about the size of an orange with the ends cut off. It has a nice rubber handle here. The speaker occupies this entire face. It has a RGB light ring around the center. And all the controls are on this side. The M button cycles through the RGB lighting effects. You can also turn them off completely. According to the manual, you can use the M button as a shutter control on your camera, but I couldn't get that to work, so take that into consideration. The center button is power and also serves as track, start, and stop. The plus button, of course, is volume up and track next, and the minus button is track previous and volume down. Beneath this rubber panel, we have the USB-C charging port. The U-Hydro has more bass than many wearable speakers, but you're still not going to rattle your teeth. The mid-ranges are very nice, and you don't really get much distortion in the higher frequencies until you get above like 80% volume. A lot of times when a speaker comes with a handle like this, it sounds better if you have it suspended. I didn't find that made any difference in this case. This is IPX six water resistant. Don't submerge the speaker, but it should be splash proof. The U-Hydro has a five hour battery life. That is not unusual for a wearable speaker, but I think that is on the low end of acceptable. Ultimately, you are buying a speaker for the sound and this is among the better wearable speakers. I'm going to take off one star because of the poor battery life. Four out of five stars. Honestly, both of these speakers seem pretty indestructible to me. The U-Hydro sounds better. The DeWalt has a battery that lasts twice as long. So you're going to have to decide what is more important to you. Thanks for stopping by.